Now for the final piece of this, here's what we're going to do. We're going to actually bring that lookup table that we just created in Resolve into OBS and use that to enhance our visual image. So we go, I'm going to go ahead and find my video capture device. And it's over here. For mine, I've called it Sony a7. That's just the type of camera that I use. And I'm going to go ahead and click on it. You can right click on it and go to filters, or you can just go over here to filters. I'm going to go ahead and click at the bottom left here, this plus sign, and I'm going to click apply LUT. And now you're going to, sorry, click apply LUT and I have to browse and actually find where that LUT is. Now, if you remember, it should, this should only take a second. It might take you a second to figure out where you export the LUT, whatever it does. I mean, obviously finding a LUT on your computer, should, it's going to be a lot easier than getting into Harvard or Princeton. This is going to be the easiest part of all this. I'm going to go ahead and browse and I'm going to go ahead and pause this while it might take me a few minutes to figure out where I put it and then we'll go ahead and import that into OBS. And over here I found it in, in the in the folder that I've created is called uh, picture stuff resolved. You can put it wherever you want. Wherever you put yours, fine. You hopefully found it. And I'm going to go ahead and click this. All right. And open it. And all of a sudden you see that this image totally transforms, right? So just to give you an idea of the difference, here's with the LUT, and this is without. You see it looks just much more vibrant. The black looks like black. The whites look like white. There's a little bit more saturation to create. So in other words, if I put a mirror in front of me right now, the, what's on the camera will look like what's in the mirror. And that's the goal is color correction is just designed to make what you see on camera look like a mirror. If you want to do, one way to do this kind of color, kind of color correction, by the way, is literally just put a mirror right next to it. I mean, it, it's, it's not something that I personally do, but if you like to do it, it'll, it'll really help you get a very, very precise level of color correction. So there you have it. That's how you take a LUT and you can adjust these LUTs and make really, really fine tuned and amazing ones. Now in the next video, we're going to talk about some other alternatives, but this is the best form of color correction using this lookup table with DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you made it this far, that's amazing. You are just well on your way to having an incredible, incredible uh, college interview. You're gonna have an incredible interview of any kind that you do because you have this huge advantage that nobody else is gonna have. Listen, most people don't use lookup tables. They just get frightened of the technology. If you can use a lookup table, you are head and shoulders above your competition. Even your competition that's willing to spend a lot of money Remember, this is spending a lot of money and no LUT, it looks like, it looks like this. It, with the LUT, it looks like this. It's a huge transformation. That's what, what you really want to see. All right, so in the next video, we're going to talk about some alternatives. We're going to get more into technology. But the hardest part of this, you've done. Congratulations. This is what you need to use to stand out and get in.